Congratulations on the win. Uh, another dominant performance. Uh, just you. thoughts thoughts overall on, on the win against a tough guy in Rob Font. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm a little out of words. I just did a couple couple interviews back there, but um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough fight. I was able to implement some of the stuff I've been training. Um, you know, took some good shots, landed some good shots. I was uh, yeah, used, you know, some of my weapons that I that I wanted to use and. Uh, change uh, some strategy on the fly so uh, it was a good a good experience I mean he has very heavy heavy-handed guy mm -hmm. um, um, not surprisingly I mean I think he's got a couple of knockouts right but um, I think it was a good fight I think it was a good fight um, it, it, like, like I said it um, it um, first of all hopefully it will it will you know Catapult me to a title shot, which which is what I want. And I think I think even though it was a decision fight, but I was able to once again showcase what I can do and, and change the strategy on the fly and uh, implement what I wanted to implement in the fight. So I think that's gonna help me, you know, toward, toward, towards a, uh, a a fight like a title fight. Is there anything about Rob that surprised you tonight? Yeah, I mean, I noticed his gloves was kind of bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy-handed guy. I mean, he's uh, landed landed the kicks. Um, I, I knew his boxing was gonna uh, be something that I was gonna have to adjust, and I put a lot of emphasis on, on my boxing with my boxing coach from Atlanta, uh, Coach Alain, and. Um, yeah, I was able to 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 you to utilize a little, a little bit of the boxing. That that was another experience. So I, I think I have a lot to add with this fight <laughs> to my overall game even more. So hopefully it will help me. And and, and and when the chance presents itself for for a title shot, you know it's gonna I'm gonna be uh, even more experienced. <laughs> you know yeah. what? You know I might not get all the knockouts there. I might not you know you know kick everybody in 30 seconds and, and but look the experience is there nobody can take that away from me how frustrated right. are you that you're not getting these title shots you know yeah, I'm frustrated yeah, I'm frustrated Dana White my boss he the one that signs my check Sean Shelby you know my, my boss the matchmaker and, and at the end of the day whatever their decision is it is what it is uh, but um, I don't have any any right now I don't have any other interest at this point in your career, yeah. do you even accept the fight? This I don't have any interest right now of, mm -hmm. of you know, who, who I'm going to fight. My twin brother back there, Freddie, you know, what? I don't have any interest. Right now, I don't. You know, I campaigned for the Dominic fight. Fox completely disregarded my campaign. Mm -hmm. You know, look, you know, this guy got 15,000 followers. They completely disregard my campaign. Um, so it didn't happen. He's sitting down. So I say, hey, let's go to work, you know. Like, it's not who I am fighting for, you know, he's got to get a fight fighting for money. But it's my job, you know. When we renegotiated the deal, okay, this is the fight that, that we're going to fight, we take the fight, right? So it, that's that's the, the fight I took. That's the fight I, it, I, you know, it happened, you know. And, 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 and as of right now, I don't have any other interest. You know, I beat Marlon, you know. How many fight, how many knockout this guy, you know, this guy, Guy knocked everybody out, you know. I said, "Yeah, let's fight Marla, come a newcomer into the UFC. Yeah, let's fight him." You know, I accepted every other fight, and just to refresh, as, as we got a couple of cameras here, I never, never miss weight ever in the Azufa. Ten years, never miss weight. I never pulled out of a fight in ten years Azufa. Never. I signed the dotted line. That's the fight that I'll fight. So, hey, look, that's not what the fight business is, right? It's about selling fights, so let's help, you know, and sell the fight. <laughs> what else can I do, you know, to get, a, you know, let's, uh, let's see what happens. After the fight, you were having a moment with Rob, you were talking to him, what did you tell him? Oh, I told him what, what I, what I felt, what was, what was that, that, um, it was, a, I was nervous for, I was, it was one of the most, um, nerve-wracking, a uh, couple, uh, two weeks, uh, I told my brother, I said, man, I'm kind of nervous, man, this, you know, just for the overall, um, just the overall risk, perhaps, right? Um, I was very nervous for this fight, and, and, and 
and it, it showed why, you know, guy's a dangerous guy, you know, if, if he lands a shot and it, it's in the right place, you know, anybody can go down. And, and I was able to, to capitalize and, 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 and come out victorious once again. Is it tough to keep motivating yourself to get in the gym to work for these things? Maybe not getting the respect if that's yeah. This this you? fight was, was kind of hard to, to motivate mm -hmm. myself. I even um, we raced cars too, so we were saying, hey, I'm gonna you know we, we went out like in the middle of training camp. We went to a race and and and, and I sat back and and I talked to my family. I was like, hey, you know, let's you know look, don't don't take this fight for granted, not for granted, but don't don't take it easier or, or, or don't be um, dismotivated, less motivated. Um, let's, it's your job, right? Keep doing, keep being the professional that you are. And here we are, you know, another victory. And, and, and I'm happy about it. Brett. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.